let us see how to create a half adder in microbank so first as we know for half adder we need two things a sum and a carry so the sum of the half adder is given by a x or b and a carry is given by a and b so for that now we'll have to make two gates a xor gate and a add gate so we already we have already made a nand gate in the last video so we can just connect connect a inverter to the output of our nand gate to make a add gate so if you want to see how to make a nand gate you can refer the previous video so this is a nand gate over here yes we can see so i'm not going to go into depth of how to create this so let's see how to create a xor gate so for the xor gate we know the equation is a b bar or a bar b so we will have to draw the network over here so this is the pull down network and this is the pull up network so we first have to make as we have four inputs we'll have to make a unar path to find out the order of the inputs so we can make that by uh, seeing that over here we have a node over here we have a node and there is a node here as well so all these nodes so this 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 and between this node we have a bar between these two we have a so similarly we have made for power up and power down so if we choose to go like this by going a b bar b a bar a b bar b a bar let path exist in both of them so we can use that one so this is the stick diagram for xor gate so here we can see the drain source connections are done according to this diagram the source of a bar b is connected to vdd so source of both of them is connected to vdd the drain and source of a bar and a is connected to v out and also to okay so it's the drain and source of a bar and a is connected together and the drain of a and b bar is connected to v out so a and b bar ka drain is connected to v out so similarly we have done the connections for power pull down network and as we know that there is no whole bar above the equation of xor so this gate we have created over here is actually a xnor gate and not a xor gate so we'll also have to uh, uh, join this to a inverter and the output will take over here so over here at this point we will get the output for a xor gate okay so now let's move on to creating this in microband so as we have already created a nand gate we will only create a xor gate first so for the xor gate let's see so how many connections are we going to need so there is one two three and four and five so there are five contacts so as we know that each contact takes up a space of four and there is a gap between polysilicon and the sub, uh, the contact of one and the polysilicon takes two lambda so the total width we'll have to create would be four plus let's uh, let's assume this as also four two and one on one on each side I do. then again this contact would be four and again four for this polysilicon then again four for the contact four for the polysilicon four for the contact four for the polysilicon and finally again four for the contact so this adds up to 36 so we'll have to create 36 by 4 substrate so let's go to microwave so p type diffusion we'll create 36 by 4 Four. Let's just zoom out a bit. Okay. So now we'll also have to create an well. 
so the n value will be 6 above and 6 below so 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 so and this is the n value now let's give the metal contacts mm -hmm. Let's create the end diffusion below this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three to six by full end diffusion. Let's also give metal on this. Over by four. We'll also have to give contacts on the metal so that we have to give off two by two. Okay, so now let's draw the polysilicon, which would be 3 above and 3 below. So now over here, as we can see, we have to connect the source in over here in the middle to the VSS so the source of B and B bar so the source over here will connect a VSS to this then let's connect yeah, these much together the drain of A bar and the drain of A and connect that to the output Take a battle. And uh, as you can see, the drain of A bar and B of the P MOS is also connected to the output. We also have to connect the source and drain of A and A bar and the source drain to the source drain of P. and that is also connected over here and VDD is connected to the source of A and B bar so we we'll give a VDD over here so now as we can see we have connected the VDD we have connected this as well this connection is also done. We have connected the ground and we have also taken the output. So let's take output from here. Now let's assign the inputs. So it's A, B bar, P and A bar. So for A, let's assign a clock. Then we can assign A bar 
so to assign the a bar what you can do is you can click on the inverse of last clock so you can see a bar we get over here so now we'll assign a b inverse last clock so now a okay so a b bar b and a bar equals so we can just delete these clocks this would be bad this would be b bar so now we have the clocks assigned as a so as we can see this is actually a x nor gate but we have to create x or gate so what we can do is connect the output of this to a inverter so for that we'll also have to create a inverter let's move and you also have to give vdd to the end well let's move to this side and create a inverter over here so for a inverter we just need a simple piece of thread We give this metal contacts. Also, that type is easier. Okay. Let's give this a policy icon also. Now, as we know, we have to give a VDD to the end bell. Another VDD over here. Also, let's give the contacts. Let's give a VSS to this. If you want a in-depth video of how to create an inverter, you can watch that as well. and we can so for this we give the output uh, the input to the gate so let's keep that you think better so this comes over here so now we uh, need to connect the polysilicon and metal you actually have to give a contact otherwise the polysilicon and the metal are not connected by default so this we connected over here Now we can take the output over here. So let's call this X or this output is actually X nor output, and this is the X output. So now, as you can see, we have made our X on here. So let's run the simulation. Okay, so as we can see over here, when a is zero uh, and b is one, the output of XOR is one. When a is one and b is also one, the output is zero. When a is zero, b is zero, the output is also zero. And when a is one and b is zero, the output is one. So we can see that our XOR gate output is working properly. So we have created. the xor gate so now what we need we also need we also have to create a nand gate now to make a half adder so what we will do is we'll create a nand gate quickly for nand gate we saw the tick diagram it was over here so it's pretty simple for this tick diagram we we'll only need four four Four, four, and four. 
so this will be 20 by 20 by 4 so let's create that as well so we'll have to create an angle of 16 by 36 for this Sixteen by thirty six. Let's keep this three diffusion. Okay, so let's create a PD fusion. 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we will click on this edge and you can reduce it to be properly 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Okay, so now what we can do is give this metal we'll also have to create the end diffusion 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 Let's yeah. add this metal as well. Mm -hmm. As we see, as we can see the output is taken from the middle and the top one are shorted to the VTD. We also give contacts to finally connect with it. Make sure these two Give a very easy to this. We'll have to give a ground over here. And the output is taken from middle and the drain from over here. We can so this is also a NAND gate. So this also will have to make an inverter and connect it to an inverter. So now what you can do is, as we have already made an inverter in this sketch, we can just copy that inverter and paste it here. So copy elements, this button over here. We'll just copy the inverter and get one inverter per here. And then we can give the output of this to the inverter. Yeah. Okay, so now the inverter is also ready. So now this over here XOR output, we can delete this. We will take a and add output over here. So the add output is actually the carry. So we will call this carry. And we'll also call that the and the XOR output is just the sub. 
so we'll call this sum now we have to give the same ab to this as well so what you can do is click on this copy element click on the a give this a and also the b so now we have the sum as well and the carry as well so that's run the simulation two nanoseconds So over here, as we can see, let's actually run it for only two nanoseconds. Okay, so from here we can see when A is zero and B is zero, the carry is also zero and the sum is also zero. When A is one and B is zero, the carry is zero but sum is one. And when A is also one and B is also one, the carry is also one, but the sum is zero. So as we can see, we have created a half adder in microgrid.